Before we begin, we would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which we are gathering today and pay our respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. We extend that respect to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples, both here today and joining us online. Thank you for joining us for the 2020 COVID-19 version of our Year 7 Going Update. In addition to our current Year 6 students who are continuing their journey with us, we would like to extend a warm welcome to our new students who have chosen to begin their journey with Corinna Christian School Canada for their secondary education. Throughout this presentation, our aim is to touch upon much of the information that is contained in the Year 7 2021 booklets, a copy of which students were given when they arrived. In doing so, we also wanted to try and give you an idea of what a day in Year 7 at Karinya Gunnada might look like. The school day at Karinya Gunnada begins between 8.30am and 8.45am. During this time, Year 7 students can be found at their individual lockers, getting organised for their day, playing games under the collar and hanging out with friends. Our first bell rings at 8.42am, which is a sign for students to prepare for pastoral care. Actually, the day really begins at home, when you are preparing for each day, which includes making sure that you have everything that you need packed in your bag, preferably the night before. You'll learn more about how to do that with myself and your teachers at the beginning of the year, including how to read and understand your timetable, which tells you what subjects you have each day and at what time each day. One thing you won't need to pack each day for school at Carinya is a mobile phone or any internet capable device. These can only be brought to school if, you, if your parents have contacted me directly for permission and, if allowed, they must be delivered to middle senior school reception at the beginning of each day. Another important part of getting ready for each day is having the correct uniform ready and wearing it properly. Our uniform code and dress requirements policy tells you everything you need to know about the uniform and personal presentation requirements at Carinya. It also explains our door-to-door -door policy, which basically means that the uniform and dress requirements policy must be followed at all times when students are wearing the school uniform. Back to 8.45am and pastoral care. In two ordered lines, students enter the room and stand behind their chairs, indicating to their teachers that they are ready and positioned to learn. Student wellbeing is a key school focus as we support students through navigating early adolescence. As part of this, pastoral care takes place from 8.45 to 9am every day. In this timetable pastoral care forum, students meet together with their Year 7 pastoral care teacher, discuss school events and community happenings, and most importantly, pray and read the Bible together. Middle schooling provides an excellent opportunity to focus on the well-being of students in early adolescence, as they experience many physical, emotional and social changes. In addition to pastoral care, the head of middle school, school chaplain, school counsellor, principal teachers and other staff all work together to ensure the well-being of our Year 7 students. Following pastoral care, the rest of the day is made up of six periods. Two 50-minute periods, followed by a half-hour lunch break, then another two 50-minute periods and a second half-hour break, before completing the day with another two 50-minute periods, ending at 3pm. Practical subjects can most commonly be associated with learning blocks of time across two periods, including learning in music, PE, science, technology and visual arts. In our new state-of-the-art classrooms, students are also taught to use digital technology as a tool to aid learning. Each Year 7 student has one-to-one -one access to a Google Chromebook computer. As an internet-based cloud device, documents can easily be shared between school and home. Our expectations around cyber safety are rightly high, and there are clear guidelines about using technology at Carinya. It's also worth mentioning that when we have double periods of learning for PE, at times we use our school bus to transport students to and from sporting facilities in Gunnada. Our Year 7 students have been to the golf course, swimming pool, basketball stadium, tennis courts and council ovals. Having our own bus also means that we regularly participate in incursions and excursions with our students. Every year, Year 7 students say hands down that one highlight from the year is the excursion to Camp Elam near Foster. During this four-day camp, Year 7 students learn more about themselves and each other in beach and lake settings. Students participate in fun activities like archery, canoeing, fishing, raft building, a giant swing, 
climbing tower, beach and bush walks, and lots of wide games. In 2021, the Year 7 Camp to Foster will be held in week four of Term 1, from Tuesday the 16th to Friday 19th of February. Speaking of fun activities and games, there is plenty for our Year 7 students to do during breaks, including table tennis or handball in the shade, and volleyball, basketball, and soccer under one of two covered over learning areas. Or, if you feel like being in a quieter space, we have a supervised chill zone available each break. If something is happening at school that is making you feel unsafe or unhappy, it is very important to talk about it with one of our staff or one of your parents so that we can do something about it. Discrimination, bullying and harassment are all extremely important issues that we take very seriously here at Carinya. As image bearers of God, we believe that no individual should be subjected to ill treatment and that difference should never be a cause for offence or attack. As part of the school and home working together, communication is very important. As well as talking in person or in the telephone or emailing, the middle school planner is another way that the school and home keep in touch. The planner is also where students record their homework and assessment tasks. Students in Year 7 use their planner to organise their term, include reminders and develop their skills in organisation. The planner also contains handy information about the uniform and dress requirements policy and something we call the, acad the Satisfactory Academic Profile. The aim of Carinia's Satisfactory Academic Profile is to encourage students to come to each lesson ready to work with all the correct books and equipment, engage appropriately with the content of the course and hand in all their homework and assessment tasks on time. With regards to students' motivation to learn, at Carinya, we encourage students to seek the reward in the task. That is, to find the reward for their effort in the tasks they are completing. For example, what might be the reward for a student learning their multiplication tables? It's that they know their tables and are able to apply this knowledge to other areas of their learning. We also encourage students to be motivated by doing their best in all things because each task is worth doing, not because they might get something else for doing it. We refer to this as being faithful. It is an approach that focuses on students being intrinsically rather than extrinsically motivated. And there is research that supports not using rewards and other extrinsic motivation in the classroom because it actually inhibits student motivation and learning. We are very excited about you all being in our Year 7 class in 2021 and are looking forward to being on the journey of secondary schooling with you. I hope you all have a great get ready day today and please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions or if there is in any way in which we can help as you prepare for next year. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you so much for Year 7 2021 Get Ready Day. We are so excited for next year and we can't wait to learn and walk together as Year 7 middle school students. Please, Lord, help us to be thankful, most importantly, of the Lord Jesus, in whom all things are made and created. Amen. Amen.